Hey y'all, welcome back to a day in my life vlog. We're not doing a whole lot today. It's really gonna be like we're on FaceTime together because I'm off this week, CNA school is done. I don't go to work at the shop until Thursday. So this is like my relaxing me week. And I don't have a lot to do. In holiday season, I try to stay out the way because going anywhere is so hectic. So we are headed to get my tattoo removal. This is my second session. I go to the removery. I think they're like nationwide, I think, but I go to the one in Charlotte and I have had a good experience with them so far. They're removing two of my tattoos. So if y'all have questions about that, let me know. But it is painful. It's a little expensive. Um, you have to go every two months and the pricing depends on how big the tattoo is and where it is located but it's a relatively quick process to get started so the whole process for me is gonna take about a year so it is what it is I'm happy that I finally got it started but yeah after this we're gonna come home I need to clean up a bit I want to start wrapping my girlfriend's gifts for Christmas. I'm pretty much done with all my Christmas shopping. Whatever else I got to get, I'm not getting because it is December 12th and it's just ridiculous. So we're heading to removery. I don't quite know how they're going to be about vlogging. For some reason, I feel like they're not going to be with it. So I'm going to use my phone and try to just show y'all what the process is like because I'm gonna be honest the pain the pain level baby the pain level is high and my tattoo was on the top of my foot so you can go ahead <laughs> okay <laughs> how you doing <laughs> my neighbor the pain level baby is no joke so I did get a text from them saying that there was some construction or whatever. But if you're in Charlotte, if you live here, y'all already know. It's always some construction uptown. So that's no surprise. But yeah, this is going to take a quick hot second. The whole thing takes her about 10, maybe 15 minutes. Not really. But I'm going to tell you, them whole, the whole... I'm, I'm saying that including checking in and all of that. But the actual removal of my tattoo took her like five or six minutes. But baby, it hurt so bad. It did. But I have a high pain tolerance, so I take it like a G. But um, yeah, I finished my CNA program for those of you who follow me for that. So I have to take my state test. I know the lighting is not the best, y'all. My bad. But I gotta take my CNA state test this month. So perfectly I passed that and I can move on to next semester. So everything is going well, but I have had to scale back from YouTube this month just because I had to lock in. But I am currently just allowing myself some time to study and not get too overwhelmed with what is currently happening <laughs> i am registered for my classes for next semester so happy about that but once i park i want to answer a couple questions from one of my viewers she has some really good questions about waxing that i wanted to answer for y'all because i feel like it'll be a big help for everyone that's why i didn't want to answer it in the comments i wanted to answer it in the vlog so I'm almost there. I'm going to park and then I will go ahead and chat with y'all. Oh, they're on this one. Oh, they're, gone. they're almost gone. Yeah, they're gone. Um, Probably because she didn't even go in deep enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm pretty sure I had to do bed bath. I'm pretty sure I had to do foot hair. I don't remember. 
remember what my last one would have been. Next semester, I have one six bio one six eight, and then that's like I think a six week course. Mm -hmm. Then I have one six nine and English. Doesn't sound awful. No, not awful. Um, I technically could apply to school now, but I'm not going to because those bio classes and the English are an extra 12 points. Yeah. <laughs> My neighbor is also in nursing school. At CCC. Okay, does she like it? Uh, it's actually a guy, but. Um, okay. So, well, I shouldn't say nursing school. He's doing his career. Okay. 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 Yes. He's also about to do the CNA stuff, but he's okay. going to do it through. That private company that does it out of Monroe. Okay, okay. I was telling someone the ice pack is the worst part. Uh, I told my client she's um, wanting to get hers removed. Yeah. She just got it done. Uh, and she got a BBL. Uh, so she wanted to cover the tummy tuck scar. Mm. And um, I don't know what the girl did when she colored it in, but she went for like a watercolor vibe. But it just came out looking like her son did it. Literally. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, she's like, I just don't, she doesn't like the time it takes. Yeah, she doesn't like that it's going to be like a process. I know. And she's not good with pain. So I'm like, eh. But I told her the ice pack is the worst. I know. A lot of you have said that. Now you have to do the ice pack. Is that, uh, or is it just more so something y'all, like if you didn't do it, it would it be? like our protocol, but like okay. if you don't want it, we can try it. But it, it is spicy. You know? It is. <laughs> that last one was. Whew. Yeah. But the ice pack is right there with it. I know. It's on your bone. The good thing is that it's quick. Yeah. We'll do a few test spots, quick picture, and then we'll get started. Okay. Well, I'll be right there in school with you next year. I'm going back. You're um, going back? I know. For what? Your doctor? I'm just doing like a, no, maybe one day. But I'm doing like a postmaster's dermatology fellowship. Okay. Yeah, so. so is that technically school or are you just? Yeah, I have class every Wednesday and I have to do clinicals. Okay. Yeah. So, are we doing class every Wednesday night? Right afterwards? Are you tired of school yet? Because you're, you're a little older than me or you're my age. I'm 30, yeah. I'm, I'll be 35 in May, or March. Okay, you're two years older than me. Yeah. Ooh, that shit already hurt. <laughs> You really like the aesthetics. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Definitely hurts worse this time. <laughs> Maybe because I'm getting my cycle? Because I feel like everything yes, hurts is. more. It is. Everything hurts yes, more. It is No more, no more around my cycle. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, I've had a couple times that we've learned that. It's the same with uh, getting a Brazilian. Yeah. Uh, I tell people, do not get a wax around your period. Mm. I don't have you bend your leg for me. Yeah, this one is easy. weren't horrible, but they were pretty bad. Where'd you have to do them at? Southminster. 
so, uh, Park Road. Oh, is it like a nursing home or? Yes. Long, yep, long term care. Probably treat at every other one. Okay. Because so <laughs> okay. I guarantee you it'll go away. Like, awesome. <laughs> I survived. I survived. It hurt though. Oh, no. Okay, y'all. So I just got home from getting my tattoo removed. It's still pretty sore. I've actually been home like three hours now, but I had to wrap some Christmas gifts kind of get myself settled and I want to answer these questions for y'all really quick before I give you a life update because y'all it's a lot going on <laughs> but I want to answer these questions from one of my viewers she asked me questions like a month ago on a couple vlogs ago and I told her I would answer them in a vlog because the questions are really good questions and I feel like they'll be really helpful for y'all so I didn't want to answer them in the comments. So it is from, hey, I'm Jay. Hey, babe. So her first question is, do you use soft wax for anything? So yes, I use soft wax for brows and lip waxing primarily and also leg waxing. Arm waxing, it just kind of depends. Soft wax gives you a very clean pull, a very sharp, um, shaping for brows. The thing with soft wax is that it can compromise the skin a bit more so you can't use it on everyone. And until you've been waxing for a while or been in aesthetics for a while, it may take you a minute to kind of gauge whose skin can handle what. So the people, long story short, the people that I can use soft wax for brows and lip on, I do because it just gives the cleanest wax. It can just take a little bit more work with hard wax, but you learn how to do it. But if somebody can use soft wax, I use soft and I use the Suddenly Smooth Zinc Oxide Wax. So yes, I definitely do use soft wax. Is there a technique to having your clients book their next appointment in advance? Were you always comfortable doing that or is it more of a normal thing with your loyal clients? So a little bit of both. It's always been a thing where I book my clients out, the regular clients. So my regular clients come every single month. Oh, I thought that was an ad. It's just her packaging kind of loud. <laughs> so as long as my clients have been coming to me with my own business, they book out with me usually. So as soon as their wax is up, it's like standard. Four weeks is this day what time do you want to come in so all of my regulars book with me some of them don't because of their schedule they'll just book online but that definitely is a mixture of comfort and just protocol because they've been coming to me for like five plus years so I know they're coming back they know they're coming back so they just book out but that's not everyone and I don't let everyone book out because the people who aren't my regular clients or who don't come as often, I make them book online because to be honest, booking with me is a privilege. When you book with me, you don't have to pay a deposit. I'm more likely to cater to your schedule. Booking online is like you get what you get. So if you're not a regular client, if you're someone that I don't see myself taking on as a client, like there's some people that I just don't vibe with or they give me a hard time or they're always late or they're problematic, or they're going to no-show or always be late. I don't really want them as clients anyway, so I don't go out of my way to book them. I just don't. So they get in where they fit in, or they just don't come back. So regulars, I'm always like, hey, when are you coming back? New people, if I really feel like I want them as a client and they're giving me good vibes, I will book them if I know they're going to come back and you just know like clients become very easy to read 
and I know when someone's going to be on time, if they're gonna show up, all those kind of things. So I just kind of go with my intuition with stuff like that. But it is definitely a comfort thing. I've always kind of been comfortable before working for myself. I worked at a salon where they did all of my bookings, so I would do the service and they'd always book with the receptionist. So by the time they started coming to me, it was like, it was like clockwork. I would say if you are wanting to build your confidence with that, getting clients to come back or pre-book, I would do one of two things. Either one, don't make it an option. While you're waxing them or whatever treatment you're doing, educating them on the importance of consistency. And when you're done saying, okay, so to stay on your four to six week schedule, um, my first available is this day, four weeks out. I have a noon, would that work for you? That's kind of encouraging the client, kind of letting them know like they have to be consistent. The worst they can tell you is no, I'm gonna wait, or no, I'll book on my own, and that's fine. But start off with not giving them an option or just highly encouraging, because the worst they'll say is, oh, it's okay, I'll book on my own, and you say okay and go on about your day. The worst someone can tell you is no, and that's anything in life. Or what I do with new people that I want to come back is I'll say, I'll kind of gauge their personality. But keep in mind, guys, I have a huge clientele. I don't really want any more new clients. So I also don't have a strong pull to really, really make sure that people stay with me. They just do anyway. So what I'll do is I'll say, are you someone who normally gets their brows done every month? What's your usual schedule? Are you wanting to get on a schedule or a routine? That's one of my favorite lines with Brazilian brow, really anything, but more so brow, lip, underarm, Brazilian. That's something you want to be on. So I'll say, are you wanting to get on a routine? If they already wax, they probably will already want to book out anyway. But people who are newer to waxing or wish washy, you'll have to be more forthcoming with them. So when I say, do you want to get on a schedule, a routine, it's going to hurt less. Your hair is going to thin out. I let clients know if they don't come back consistently, it's not going to reap the benefit that they really want to see. And usually when I say that, they're like, okay, let's go ahead and book. Or I'll give them their aftercare kit with my card. And it says on there to make sure they book four to six weeks. So there's many ways you can get them to book. And if they say no, they say no. Um, I have plenty of people who tell me no, hey, I'm gonna book online. And they'd rather go home and look at my schedule online and book themselves. It doesn't make me any difference. But if you're really wanting your clientele to come back, honestly, I wouldn't worry so much about, I don't wanna say don't worry about pre-booking because you should pre-book if you can, but make them fall in love with you and your service to want to come back because once you get to that level you don't have to worry about oh are you pre-booking are you coming back are you not coming back be so good and your work is so fire and be so confident that the people are going to come back anyway that's 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 the real tea that's the real tip so they're going to come back if they like you period but always offer it and the worst they can tell you is know and educate them on why they should come back her third question is this is from another video but i don't remember which one you mentioned a slow season in waxing when is that exactly does it vary does it really affect your business love your content keep the videos coming thank you babe i appreciate all your questions this is a really great question as well so slow season in waxing is going to kind of vary and depend for sure Usually slow season, I do air quotes because everyone doesn't have a slow season. Like I honestly do not have a slow season. I'll have slow days, but that's usually because I close off my books or I wanted them to be slow or it's like a weird week after a holiday, but it doesn't affect me personally because I am established as a waxer. Now, if you live in Florida, it's always warm or California or down south anywhere Midwest like you're, it's always going to be warm so waxing's probably more than likely always kind of going to be a thing if you live in New York or Chicago or Pennsylvania um, those kind of areas up north your slow seasons are for sure going to be once 
they can't go to the pool anymore <laughs> so those are typically your slow seasons so after i would say like halloween depending on where you live until the new year but holidays for me my clients always want to wax before a holiday always so holidays usually should be good because people typically want to feel good and look good for their holiday whatever they have planned so uh, halloween thanksgiving christmas new year's for sure birthdays so slow is gonna vary depending on where you live what you do in the industry um what kind of clientele you have so this is a loaded question so basically it can vary more than likely it's going to be in the cooler months and my biggest advice tip for this would be to build a clientele that makes waxing or whatever you do a lifestyle don't don't try to pull in people who um just are getting a wax because they're going on vacation or it's someone's birthday or now they have a man or a girlfriend so now they want to wax kind of vibe nothing wrong with that i do have clients like that but those clients don't pay my bills those clients are just add-ons to my solid clientele my solid clientele come every four to six weeks like clockwork to them getting a wax is an essential and it's a lifestyle so if you have those kind of clients honestly you'll never have a slow season the best way to attract that clientele is to know who that clientele is so work in the nicer areas if you can the higher end areas the people who have money and i don't know a nicer way to say this the people who have money your corporate people your people who have that kind of life where they like to look a certain way feel a certain way and they're already getting other maintenance things done i kind of appeal to women between the ages of 25 and 55 i would say i do have younger and i have older but that's my demographic most of my women have are working women they're um they're finishing up their bachelors they're in grad school they're entrepreneurs they're nurses they're doctors they're lawyers they're accountants they're i have all different types of clientele but all of those women have one thing in common for them maintenance is a lifestyle so women and men who live a life that requires maintenance and aesthetic tend to be certain jobs and those are the people that i pull in i don't try to pull in students i don't try to pull in people who are always looking for a discount or a special it is what it is so i always recommend trying to work in a really nice area looking your best at work presenting yourself as high end presenting yourself as the best and that's what you're going to attract so i hope that answers your questions those are really great questions so thank you so much so quick life update y'all have not seen me in a month i finished my cna training program i'm getting ready for next semester of school y'all i am literally at the tail end of my pre-nursing requirements so i'm applying to school next year i'm so excited a lot is going to be changing a lot's going to be changing i'm probably going to make some changes with my business i don't want to share that yet because i don't want to speak too prematurely because i don't know exactly what i'm going to do but know that there probably are going to be some changes my life's going to start to look a little bit different so i'm very happy for this um new season of my life i'm very happy to be in school I just feel very fortunate and I'm excited for this new season. I have not felt this good and this excited about something in a really long time. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just taking it all in. So I've been really focusing on slowing down for this month. School's over, so I have half the week off right now until January. I work Thursday through Saturday at the salon. So Monday, Sunday through Wednesday, I'm chilling. I know y'all hear construction, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. I'm chilling. I definitely am considering taking a um, healthcare assistant, basically a medical assistant job, but you can do this job as a CNA. So I'm considering going to a dermatologist's office or a plastic surgeon part time so we'll see how that ends up going but that's something that i'm 
currently looking into so I can begin getting some healthcare medical experience in what I'm going to end up wanting to do. So my life is gonna start looking very different within the next year. So I'm gonna try to make some changes to the channel. When I say that I mean just finding a way to kind of creatively showcase my lifestyle while still offering you guys aesthetic advice and business tips and things like that. My mom is FaceTiming me, but I'll call her back. So yeah, we're finding some ways to kind of switch up the content. I love when y'all leave me comments telling me what you want to see. Y'all seem to enjoy my days in my life vlogs. Um, so I'm going to try to work on that. So we'll see. But that's my life update. I take my CNA um, skills exam. My written is tomorrow. My practical exam is at the end of the month. And then I'll be certified so I can start looking for part-time positions. Um, classes start January 6th. So yeah, your girl is on a roll. What does she want? So your girl is on a roll. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog, y'all. I just wanted to do a quick check-in, update, show my face, say hi. I'm back. I just needed a month to finish clinicals with school and all of that. If you do like my pre-nursing content, I'm going to do a video on my CNA experience, clinicals, all of that. I don't want to talk y'all ear off about that if you don't care about that. So that video will be coming probably this week or next week. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. I will see y'all next week. Bye.